All right, the most important thing that you want to do before you apply the vinyl is clean the vehicle. Um, you got to make sure you do it in a three-step process. The first thing you do is have the customer wash the vehicle or you can wash the vehicle before it gets to the shop. The second thing you want to do is you want to take Prepsol and that will cut down the solvents or any kind of oils or gasoline that's, or road tar that comes up from the road and then it'll get it cleaned off. You want to make sure that with that, that you clean every single space, anywhere that there's, anywhere that there's paint and even where there's not paint because underneath there it can get really dirty and that's where it's going to fail the most. The other process that we have is that we detrim the vehicle. We take off the mirrors, we take off anything that's on the hood, anything that we're able to, the lights, anything that we can so that we can apply the vinyl to the vehicle without any obstructions. In this way it makes it easier to lay any vinyl in behind there. That way you don't have to cut on the car or you don't have to cut really near to the trim pieces that you have. I mean you can only achieve so much with a print um, but you have the carbon fiber look with the vinyl effects it just enhances the, the look that much more and gives a, a really crisp clean look and that, that's what people want. It's set up on the same profile right now as the Avery vinyl. This is awesome. What you could do with this could opens the doors for many more markets. The Avery DOL 1000 is an overlamp that goes over your vinyl effects and it protects it from any scratches or any solvents and it acts as a UV protectant just like any normal vinyl material that you would, you would put through the machine. Uh, one of the things that we have to really be concerned with is making sure that we're aligned correctly. We have the process of the design correct, we have the process of the print correct. Now we want to make sure we don't mess that up and we make sure that the laminate goes on correctly and there's some things that can go wrong so you got to make sure that that it's lined up correctly. You also have to make sure that when it goes through the other side it's not sticking to any of the rollers and you want to make sure that there are no wrinkles as you go through and make sure that the take up roll is in, at a proper tension so it doesn't fall into your material. That's probably one of the biggest problems we'll have is the, the uh, paper um, take up roll will fall into the into the laminate and then we have to start the process all over again and that's what we don't want to do so we want to make sure everything's correct before we get started. Basically what we're doing right here was we're taking the print and we're cutting out the design right now. We normally would use the, the plotter but the plotter, uh, this, this design is too big for the plotter so we're, we're having to cut it out, cut it out by hand. Um, we basically take the, this, the design and put it on the uh, on the vinyl and we've laminated it so we're ready now to cut it. What determines between the, whether we need mask or not is the, the separations from the vinyl and we, anytime we cut from the vinyl we have to hold this up and it's, it's sticky when we put it on so we try to put it on in all in one piece so that we, since we don't have five or six guys to sit here and hold it we use the digi mask instead and that'll hold it up and between the two of us we can lay it on the vehicle. What makes that film so great is that it conforms to the vehicle. It's easy to work with and then once you get it on the vehicle, it's easy to take off without removing the, uh, the decal that you put on the vehicle. All right, the two of us are going to bring this over and align it to the vehicle. We're going to adjust it right in place where we need it to be. We're going to line it up right here. Make sure we have it exactly where we want it. And the great thing about this DigiMask is it acts, acts as masking tape. And it helps hold it in place. We want to make sure that we drop this in down and it's really easy to move because we've got the Digimask on there. So we need to line it up with the design. So we're going to drop this in down. I need to go down a little bit more, Jose. And then we're going to come, we'll come forward. Now we've got everything lined up. Um, we've, we're going through the vehicle and we're seeing exactly what we need to do. We've got it taped up kind of where, we need to, where it needs to go. One thing we have to realize is that the image that was on the computer is flat. The actual car is not flat. So you really have to put it on here and see exactly what we're going to do with the curves because we could have some curves in here or some concaveness that we have to match up. So we've got to make sure exactly where we're at. And at this point, we're going to probably have to make a cut right here so that we can angle it up because uh, again on the computer it was flat and on the vehicle it's more concave. It, it, it has different dimensions than the computer so we're gonna have to make sure that 
when we apply it on the vehicle that it goes down smooth without wrinkles. So that's what we're going to do right now is we're going to cut this right here and align this so that we can uh, align it up to the car as opposed to the computer screen. Got to make sure that you pull it away from the car. You don't want to you don't want to cut the car at all. And then we can make a cut right about there. Okay, and the great thing about the digi mask is that even though you don't have a piece of masking tape there, it still sticks. And still easy to pull away when we need to pull away from the decal or the vinyl. Come this way. Right about there. I like that. Jose is going to hold it and then we're going to take the backing off. I want to bring that, I want to follow the curve around. We get all the wrinkles out. It's lined up exactly where we need to be. That's good. That looks good. That looks good right there. All right, he's cutting it around the wheel well right now. And as you can see, we've cut to the excess. In other words, we gave it about two or three inches around the wheel well so that we can tuck underneath here and it gives it that paint look so that you can't see the edge of the vinyl. That's why it's really important to clean underneath because that's the first place that it's going to fail if it's not clean underneath. Let me show you a couple of cool things about Digimask. You can actually squeegee this as hard as you want. You can stretch it. You don't have to worry about hurting anything underneath it. You don't have to hurt, worry about stretching your vinyl too much. You can get all the air bubbles out and also you can, you can make sure that you don't scratch it. There's no scratches when you get done. Okay. You can see I got a wrinkle in here. And the great thing about the Digimask is I can pull this back up and it's still conformable and I can still work the vinyl down to the vehicle. And it's very conformable to the contours. Look how easy it's going down. It's just a great product. Got another wrinkle, just pull it back up. It just works the product right down. All right, normally what we do when we come in contact with the, where there's a ground effects or a change in the contour, we try to tuck it as much as possible so that when we make the cut line you can't see where the cut line is. Now you don't have to be very careful with this material. You can really push on it to tuck and that's what we want to do. We want to tuck it around the corner. It gives you the stability to be able to push underneath there without actually ripping the vinyl. So now we're going to make a cut line and we have to make sure that we're not going to cut on the vehicle. We never want to cut on the vehicle. So there's a groove underneath here between the two bodies, between the two pieces of, of the car. And I just make a small cut along here. And that allows me to wrap that underneath. And now with the digi mask on top of the vinyl, I can reposition this. One of the good thing about the digi mask is that when you come to a contour and you have to use a torch, it helps protect the vinyl. So if you're new to a torch, it gives you that extra added safety or, or comfort level that you can heat the, heat the vinyl. So I'm heating the vinyl so that it can come around the contour and it's easier to lay on. And with other masking materials, there's no way that you can heat it like this and come around the corner. That's really awesome. That is really awesome. We want to make sure we hold the digi mask back at 180 degrees and you can see the shine. No scratches. The digi mask, the great thing about it is made for the vehicle wraps. So it's a low tack adhesive. And as you pull it off, it doesn't remove the graphic. Comes off nice and clean. It's just a great product. cannot duplicate what's on here on white bond. It's, it's more like um, eye candy. You know, there's so many different things that you can sell. It's not when it, it's anybody's our customer. Vinyl Effects and Digimask are just two of the many profit-enhancing products from Artape. We make it easy for you to expand your business into vehicle wraps and then grow it.